Okay, your boss will understand. The initial plan of God is not for you to desire to prophesy, but for you to walk in what? The spirit of prophecy. Now, when you come to that place to walk in that spirit of prophecy, you become now dangerous to the kingdom of darkness and to the wicked people around you. You are going to work today. You always leave home at 7 a.m. But this time, something tells you, don't leave at 7. Just go to the kitchen and enjoy some tea. If you are late, it's okay. Your boss will understand. The moment you enter the kitchen, you saw on the news an accident that just happened. At exact time, you reach at that. This is the spirit of prophecy. It's not, I see this, but you will have the fullness. So all your movement is directed by God. All your movement, you are fulfilling the mandate of God. When you turn here, you are in the will of God. When you turn there, you are in the will of God. When you move here, you are. This is what we call the spirit of prophecy. It's coming upon you. Amen. I said what? It is coming upon you, yes, sir. The initial plan of God is not for you to desire to prophesy, but for you to walk in what the spirit of prophecy now when you come to that place to walk in that spirit of prophecy you become now dangerous to the kingdom of darkness and to the wicked people around you you are going to work today you always leave home at 7 a.m but this time something tell you don't leave at 7 just go to the kitchen and enjoy some tea if you are late it's okay your boss will understand the moment you enter the kitchen you saw on the news an accident that just happened. At exact time, you reach at that. This is the spirit of prophecy. It's not, I see this, but you will have the fullness. So all your movement is directed by God. Mm. All your movement, you are fulfilling the mandate of God. When you turn here, you are in the will of God. When you turn there, you are in the will of God. When you move here, you are, this is what we call the spirit of prophecy. It's coming upon you. Amen. I said what? It is coming upon you, yes, sir. Because as you respect and honor them, they show you the secret of how they became who they are. Let me tell you, if you are father, take that father role serious so that your children will take you serious. God richly bless you. Shalom. Bless you. Good evening, everybody. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. I'll do that again. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can bring by your plan. That's just the way it is.
And everything is working out for your good Dependable, God Dependable, dependable, God It doesn't matter what comes your way He is still God Intentional, intentional, God And everything is working out for you Good. So you are good, you are good, Jesus, you are good. So you are good, you are good, Jesus, you are. So you are good, you are good.
Hello, 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 everyone. Good evening to you and welcome to Pure Prophetic Monday. We thank you for being here this evening. We do appreciate you for taking your precious time to join us. Praise the Lord. So wherever you are connecting right now, right, right now, we want you to just go ahead, invite a friend, invite somebody this evening, invite a co-worker, a colleague, invite a family member. It is Pure Prophetic Monday, and we are stepping into the deep. This is the theme for the month of February. So whatever you want to know about stepping into the deep, how, how it is supposed to be done, invite somebody when you are logging in. To those of you on Facebook, YouTube, and Zoom, we welcome you in a very special way. All of you on Facebook, when you are connecting this evening, please remember to give us some stars, and God will richly bless you for that. For those of you on Zoom, when you connect today, as you are right now, we just want to remind you to mute the sounds for a little bit, unless you are being asked as by the multimedia team as they bring you on to unmute yourselves. There are times the song interferes uh, where we are here, sitting right here. So kindly mute yourselves. Thank you once again on behalf of our prophet, Dr. Philip Acker, our first lady, Sarah Acker, and the leadership of the Acts Ministry. We welcome you once more on Pure Prophetic Monday. Have your questions ready. Have your questions ready to ask the man of God this evening. And I don't know this evening if we have a special guest or not. But it's always something special happening on Pure Prophetic Monday. And do we have a special guest this evening? You might be surprised. So go ahead and invite somebody. I'm about to introduce our special guest in a second. So go right ahead, invite a friend. As I said before, have your water with you and your extra virgin olive oil. I also want to, to remind you that this Friday, my love story must change is starting. So invite someone to join us this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not going to waste any more time. We do have a special guest, and I'm about to introduce him right now on this platform. Maybe some of us know him. Maybe we are getting to meet him for the very first time. I want you to know that he is anointed. He speaks the mind of Christ. He was sent by God for such a time like this. This evening, I want to invite you to meet our end time prophet, Dr. Philip Acker. Prophet, go right ahead. Greet your viewers. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Karen. Amen. Amen. As she said... <laughs> He has a special guest today. Yes, amen. <laughs> I also introduce the special guest to you, Jesus and amen. the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead and share. Let the loved one log on in the name of Jesus, either on Zoom or either on Facebook or YouTube in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to also appreciate our our online members that have been writing us when the things are not working. God, yeah. richly bless you. Please keep, keep the comments coming so that together we can make things better, amen, and perfect in the name of Jesus because we serve an excellent God, amen. amen. And we have to also be excellent before him. Hallelujah. God, richly bless you. Sister Karen, over to you. Thank you, Prophet. Amen. Praise the Lord. People of God, as I said before, go ahead and invite somebody. Praise God. On this platform, we start with prayer and we end with prayer. Hallelujah. Join us right now for a word of prayer. Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for another wonderful evening. Yes, Father, Lord. we do appreciate this day and we do appreciate this platform. Jesus. Oh God. It is the platform we come every Monday. We ask questions and we get answers. Yes, Lord. And we want to thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bless everyone that's connecting this evening, oh God. Give them clarity in everything they're about to hear and mm. the question that they are about to ask, oh God. 
Father, open their spiritual eyes and their spiritual hearing right now as they hear your word this evening. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, take full control and take over right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you, people of God, another time. And thank you for connecting this evening. Go ahead and bring your question on. If you are on Zoom, if you're on YouTube, you're on Facebook, wherever you are, we want you to ask questions this evening. Step into the deep is the theme for the month. Friday, as I said before, it our, is our three-day program. My love story must change. So we want you to come on in and ask some questions tonight. Praise God. And we want to encourage those on Zoom to turn your cameras on. If you're on Facebook and you're on YouTube, you can just come on Zoom with your cameras on as you ask your question. Now, if you're in a situation that you are are unable to come and zoom you can send the question in I'll be delighted to ask it for you praise God God bless you once more if you are in zoom now and you have a question you can put your hand up hallelujah and the multimedia team will prepare to bring you on praise God I pray that you had a wonderful weekend and you're ready for a brand new week in the presence of God hallelujah amen, amen. So what we are going to do, Prophet, I'm going to ask you the question until the multimedia team brings someone with their first question this evening. Okay. And as always, I will ask you this question. It's always based on the theme of the month. To step out into the deep. Hallelujah. What do we need to make that giant move? To step out into the deep. God yeah. richly bless you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I believe um, when we started, I, I uh, explained a little something? bit. Yes. Uh, I think on online, on Zoom, uh, it was about um, challenging yourself, number one. Mm. It's, it, it all starts with you. Okay. It, it, it all starts with your passion. Mm -hmm. It all starts with, um, uh, how do you call it, um, how deep you want to go in God. Okay. God does not force anybody. Mm -hmm. God will not push anybody. Um, God will set the atmosphere, and it is up to you and I for us to desire. Yes. Yes. And uh, it starts with your desire, your hunger mm -hmm. to go deeper. Yes. If you are very hungry to go deeper, if you are desirous to go deeper, then you are going to challenge yourself that where you are is not enough. You okay. are not comfortable or you will not be comfortable at the place that you are. Very, very important because... If you are comfortable at the place you are, you cannot move forward. Mm, amen. So yes. number one, don't be too comfortable at the place you are. Mm -hmm. Desire, have the passion to go deeper, have the passion to go more, have the passion to go further with mm -hmm. God. Very, very important. That is the first thing one must do. Amen. Whatever you are believing in God for, the key is desire. Amen. Desire. How deep is your desire? Mm. I want us to enter into the word of God very quick. Because if you don't, or you are not desirous to go into the deep, mm -hmm. even though God has created the atmosphere mm -hmm. by announcing the season, you will still be inside, but you can enjoy. Amen? Amen. Because you will not position yourself, amen, amen. to enter into it. Let's enter into the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 5, the verse number 6. Matthew 5, the verse number 6. If you can read for us. And it's not even only in this month or regarding this month theme. Every time God announced something, 
one must be hungry for it. Mm. It's the, your hunger and the deepness of your hunger mm. that will show that whatever season that God has announced, you are going to what, benefit mm -hmm. or you will just stay for those that are hungry to enjoy mm -hmm. it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Matthew. Matthew 5, 6 says, mm -hmm. God blesses those who are hungry and thirsty for mm -hmm. justice. Mm -hmm. For they will receive it in full. Good. So this is the key. Mm -hmm. Bible says, blessed are those that hunger mm -hmm. and thirst. So yes. everything begins by your hunger. Mm -hmm. How tasty you are. Mm -hmm. How hungry you are. If you are hungry to step into the deep, you would do everything to seize the moment. Mm. You would do everything to, to be blessed by the opportunity that God has opened up. Mm -hmm. So if you are desiring to go into the deep, you must be hungry for it. Mm, you, must, you must be tasty for it. The Bible says that those that are hungry and they are tasty for righteousness, mm -hmm. the things of God, you know, the opportunity God allow. The Bible says that God will fill them up. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you so much, Prophet. Amen. Come on in, people of God, and ask your question. If you have a question and you are unable to come on Zoom, I can help you with it. If you're on Zoom, if you're on Facebook and YouTube, ask your question. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to just take a second right now to uh, welcome our wonderful viewers this evening. We have Sister Nolly, Sister Arusha. We have Ben, we have Diane. We, we thank you for joining us, Sister Mama Dawkins, you're very welcome. Sister Elizabeth is here. Sister Essie, you are welcome. We have Na from New York, welcome Nas. And we have Nina, we welcome you from Kentucky. We have Sister Auger and Brother Remy, welcome Sister Shana, Tika, Zoe, and Sister Wumi, you are all, all very welcome. Those of you on YouTube, those of you on, on Facebook, we welcome you this evening. We thank you. We thank you for joining. Don't be afraid to come on in and ask your question tonight. We, we have a moment for the prophetic. And uh, um, my love story must change. It's happening in a few days. We also want you to come on in. If you have any question, you need to find anything out, anything about it, just come on in and ask your question. Praise God. Amen. <coughs> Prophet, I want to ask you something. Like, if I, I'm going to, usually I use myself. So I'm going to use myself. If I have tried something and it did not work, is it okay to say it was not my season? Because now we know that we are going into the deep. Mm -hmm. Is there, let me, let me rephrase it then. Is there a season for it to enter into the deep as this team's, Team month is the theme of this month is saying because okay. I'm saying this to say it's not everybody that gonna step into the deep that's right right so okay. is it the right season okay for everything that's happening right now okay yes thank you very much You're um, welcome. when we are talking about seasons mm -hmm. um, I want us to enter into the word of God first so that we will, we will take it from the biblical standpoint. Okay. Okay. I know where you are coming from. Thank uh, you. <laughs> and a lot of people say that when they begin something, mm -hmm. when they approach something and it doesn't work for mm -hmm. them, what they say that is not their season. Mm -hmm. Let's go to rather Ecclesiastes chapter number three. Let's take it from the verse number one. Very important. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. The NLT says, there is a time for everything. Yes. A season for every activity under the heaven. Mm-hmm. Two says, a time to be born and a time to die. Observe this. Repeat that verse one again. Very important. There is a time for everything. There is a time for mm -hmm. everything. Yes. Okay. 
a season for every activity. There is a season mm -hmm. for every activity. Mm -hmm. Right? Every activity, there is a season. Yeah. Now, God has declared this month of February mm -hmm. as a season of stopping or step into the deep. Mm -hmm. yes. Right? Yes. Now, this season is to step into the deep. Yes. According to what you read, mm -hmm. I want you to read again. There is what? A time. For? For everything. For everything. A mm -hmm. season mm -hmm. for every activity under the heaven. Thank you. So now, this step into the deep, what activity, what are you desiring? What do you want to see? Mm -hmm. Where do you want to go? Does it correlate Mm -hmm. You get it. That one, God will not do it for you. Mm -hmm. God will never come and say, hey, wake up. God will always set the atmosphere. Yes. God will always prepare. It is up to you to know and to seize the moment. So the book of Chronicles, mm -hmm. I want us to go there because we have to learn how to seize the moment. Yes. When you say that it's not my season, it means you are waiting for your season to come. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. We have seasons, mm -hmm. right? Now, according to what you desire, where you want to go, how you want to be, you approach the season mm. with hunger. You don't sit down for the season to come to you. Mm. No. Let's go to um, Chronicles. Thank you, Jesus. Um, one minute. Thank you, Lord. Let we me open see, it. Uh, Sister Diane is on uh, Facebook. She's saying no sound. I don't know, Sister Diane, can you hear on Zoom? She says there's no sound on Zoom. So I don't know if our Zoom people, if there's no sound, can you please let us know? Thank you so much, Sister Diane. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. Those on Zoom, if you can hear us, Right, give us thumbs up. Amen. Let us know that the sound is working. Maybe sometimes it may be from their end. Amen. Yes, First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. I want people to know when we are talking about season so that we will stop sitting down for the season to come to us, but rather going towards it. First Chronicles chapter 12, the verse 32. It says, from the tribe of Ishaha. Issaka. 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 You know yeah. I can't pronounce this. <laughs> from the tribe of Issaka. Mm -hmm. There was 200 leaders of the tribe mm -hmm. with their relatives. Yes. All these men understood the temper of the times. These men did what? Understood the temper of the times. These men did what? Understood. They understood the times. Mm -hmm. And the seasons. Yes. So it was them that were moving towards the season. Yes. Trying to understand the season and to what? Take advantage of the season. Okay. Read it again. Mm -hmm. You want me to start from the beginning? No. Where you? The All men, these mm -hmm, men mm -hmm. understood the temper of the times. That's right. And knew the best course of Israel to take. You see. So they learn the seasons mm -hmm. and they came to understand by the grace of God mm -hmm. when to move, when to position yourself yes, yes. for whatever you want. Okay. So you don't sit down waiting code on code for your season and your time. Mm. You learn by the grace of God and the wisdom of God to understand the seasons. Because if you are sitting down and waiting for your season, then it could be the whole entire 11 months you are doing oh. nothing. So you are wasting time. time yes. Mm -hmm. But understanding each season mm -hmm. and knowing how to position yourself divinely, how to move divinely, you are always going to be on top and you are always going to be the topic. Mm -hmm. The reason why we are failing, we are sitting down waiting for a season. Mm. But if you read, the Bible says that for every activity under the sun, mm -hmm. there is a season. Yes. And you know that you, regardless mm. of how you love one activity, you... you, you you are forced to go through the day. You are forced to go through the week. Mm -hmm. You are forced to go yes. through the month. 
Yes. So you got to understand that in this month, for example, in this month of February, mm -hmm. what is God announcing? What is the season announcing? Yes. Can I seek wisdom? Mm -hmm. Can I seek understanding mm -hmm. so that I can know how to take advantage of the season? Mm -hmm. So when people will be crying, I will be blessing God because mm -hmm. I have understand the season yes. and I've well positioned myself. Mm -hmm. So I am not sitting and waiting and crying. Amen. So Amen. I will correct this. Mm -hmm. Don't sit down and wait for your season. No. Never say that if you try this and it didn't Don't work, know. it's not your season. Mm. If you tried it and it didn't work, it means that you did not understand that season we mm. are in and the rules of how to position yourself yes. to mm -hmm. benefit what God is doing in the season. Amen. So oh. every season... A child of God must not sit down. Mm -hmm. You must seek to understand the season. And you must seek to understand how to position yourself. Yes. To take advantage of the season. Amen. That's right. Amen. Thank you so much, Prophet. Amen. Do we have anyone on Zoom? Those on Facebook? I think I see somebody's hand up. Let me make sure. Uh, okay. We thank God for you this evening, so come on in, ask your question. Ask your question, what do you need to know about stepping into the deep? Do you have any question and my love story must change? You can also come on in and ask your question. Don't be shy, remember to invite somebody this evening. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So Prophet, I know, um, I have a, which one should I ask first? Hmm. I want to ask you, no, I'm going to ask this one. My question is that I wrote it down, so I'm just going to read it out. A lot of us receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. But why do you think that it is so hard to follow him wholeheartedly as the disciples did? So why do you think it is so hard? Because we already received Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right? Now... Now, as we are in the season, or the, the theme for this month, that we are stepping out into the, into the deep, why, why can't we follow him wholeheartedly? Thank you very much. Let's enter into the word of God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Um, let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 16, the verse number 24. Matthew 16, verse 24. Matthew 16, 24. Yes. I'm going to read from the NLT. It says, Then Jesus said to the disciples, Yes. If any of you want to be my follower, If any of yeah. you want to believe in me mm -hmm. and to follow my ways, yeah. because if you are the follower of somebody, that means you follow their pattern. Yes. Right. Yes. Now, there are some people that have just believed in Jesus. Yes. But you said something. Why is it so hard yes. to follow the ways of Jesus? Yes. And Jesus is about to teach us because it's not only now. Even in his time, mm -hmm. there are some people. You remember there was a man that came to Jesus and said, Jesus, I have done everything I am supposed to, mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told the man, go and sell your, your possessions. Your possessions. <laughs> the man ran away and never came back. You see? Yes. So Jesus said, he's not talking about people that believe in him. No. People that are following, following. his examples. Mm -hmm. Now you know that that word Christian mm -hmm. came to, to existence by the people in Antioch seeing that the disciples we're following the example of Jesus, mm -hmm. following the steps of Jesus. You came to understand, or we came to understand, that Apostle Paul mm -hmm. said that we should what? We should mimic him mm -hmm. or copy his ways yes. as he copied the ways of Jesus. Yes. So every child of God that have come to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you must not end there, but you must what? follow his yes, ways. Yes, amen. Jesus is teaching the disciples, if you want to follow his ways, 
there is something you must do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it, you can't follow him. Mm. You may believe in him, but you can't follow him. No. So read it. Let's see what Jesus said. If any of you wants to be my follower, yes. you must put aside your selfish ambition. Mm. Shoulder your cross and follow me. Mm. So how many of us that want to be a disciple or a follower of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. still holding on to our selfish ambition? Mm. Jesus said, if you can follow me, you must deny yourself. Yes. You must let go of your flesh. Mm -hmm. It's no longer you. Mm -hmm. It's rather Christ yes. that lives in you. Yes. How many of us are denying ourselves? Mm -hmm. How many of us are killing the flesh? Mm. It's very hard. Yes. If you take five, you may not get even one. Mm. So this is the issue. You cannot come to a place of following Jesus Christ without denying yourself. You cannot love yourself more than Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and succeed to follow him. No. You cannot love your money more than him and succeed to follow him. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus said. You must let go of your selfish mm -hmm. ambition. Mm -hmm. If not, you cannot. Mm -hmm. Those that are following Jesus Christ, it's not because they are stupid. There are certain things they have let go. And they have put Jesus first, first. in every area. Amen. So before they mm -hmm. touch everything, they must touch Jesus. Amen. That is the reason why it's very difficult in our time. Mm -hmm. Because everybody is wearing their selfish ambition on their, on their skin. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to deny the flesh. And this is one of the things that we have to do as we are moving into the deep. Mm -hmm. We have to let go all of these things. Of course. Okay. If not, you can't. If you can't let go, you can't let God. No. It's either you let go and you mm -hmm. let God, mm -hmm. or you hold on to it mm. and you let God go. Mm. So you can't. That's why I'm saying that it is very difficult in our time. Only few children of God. And the few, they are those that are making waves. They are those that God is using. They are those that God is turning things around. Somebody once told me, prophet, it's very hard to serve God. Mm. I said it has never been easy when it comes to the flesh. No. So even Apostle Paul said, when I heard mm. that God is calling me, I did not even mm. consult the flesh. I, I, I let go of the flesh. Mm. You cannot hold on to the flesh and go deeper. Oh, my body. Oh, my this. Oh, my dog. Oh, my cat. Jesus. Oh, my donkey. Oh, my children, <laughs> everything that you value more than Christ mm. has come to replace Christ. It has become your God. Mm. So automatically you start wow. dying. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, amen. Praise God. Thank you. As always, Prophet, for answering the questions. Let's, let, let me just check on our faithful people here if they have any questions. If you have any questions, put your hand up. On Zoom, if you are not able to come on Zoom, then you can send your questions in and I will read it for the man of God and he will help you out this evening. Praise God. So don't be shy. Ask your question. My love story must change is coming up. Do you have questions on that one? Stepping out into the deep. Do you have any questions? Just come on in and ask your question. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow is Tuesday, and we'll be meeting at 9 p.m. on the prayer line for prayer. So don't forget, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Praise God. Let me ask you this question, Prophet. <clears throat> a matter of fact, I have a scripture that I'm about to read. So you can answer the question for me. And uh, it's coming from Judges 7-2. Judges 7, 2. Um, right. I believe, I, th I believe you have, you answered part of this already. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just ask you this question, Prophet. Step, step out into the deep. Now, we, 
we have stepped out into the deep, right? So now we are there. Mm -hmm. My question is, what are we expecting there? What is there for us? What are we to receive there? Is uh, there anything that we can left there whilst we are there? In the deep is yes. where every great thing that can change man, change the world, change everything is. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, I guess you were not at church. I was on and off now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I let the church know that every precious thing on earth mm -hmm. is discovered in the deep. Every precious thing. Every precious thing. Every expensive thing. Every valuable thing is discovered in the deep. Mm. So even when men mm -hmm. succeed to come to a place of influence or place of power, mm -hmm. when they make themselves so precious, they go into hiding. Huh? They go to the deep. Right. For example, okay. it's, it's not going to be easy to assess a rich man or assess people that have come to a place of power, right? Mm -hmm. they, 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 they put certain barriers, you know, certain pillars, certain posts around themselves. Okay. They go very deep. So somebody will say, for this man, you have to really go deeper to get closer to him. Mm. They learn this from how God has established and caused everything. Gold is very expensive mm -hmm. stone. Mm -hmm. Very expensive one, precious one. Mm -hmm. If you have about, you know, 20, 50, you, mm. you, you're good. Mm -hmm. But it is in the deep. Mm -hmm. You see? Everybody can discover gold, okay. but not everybody can have it. Because to possess gold, mm -hmm. you must go very deep. Yes. Sacrifice, sacrificing things even to a point of your life. Mm. Now, oil yes. is very expensive. Yes. You can't take oil out of the world. But it is discovered in the deep. Mm -hmm. You are asking me what is there in what the deep. What is there, yes. I'm trying to make you to understand what is there mm -hmm. in the deep. And let's go to the book of Psalm 97. Psalm 97. I believe somewhere the verse number 10. Let me double check it. Yes, Lord. We want to know mm -hmm. what is in the deep that you should desire to what? To go to the deep. Right. Right. All the good stuff you can think of is in the deep. Let's go to Psalm 107, rather. Not 97, 107, the verse number 24. 107, the verse number 24. 107, 24 says, mm -hmm. They too observe the Lord. Power in action. This uh -huh. is from the NLT. Okay. His impressive works on the deepest seas. Okay. Now, let me read the King James for you. Yeah. They see the works of the Lord mm -hmm. and his wonders in the deep. So where is the wonders of God? In the deep. Where is the, let me read it again. Yes. Uh, I'm reading the King James so that people will get it clear. Mm -hmm. They see, observe this, very, very important, mm -hmm. people of God. Don't, don't lose this one. They see mm -hmm. the works of the Lord. Yes. The works of the Lord. Yes. But... To see his wonders is in the deep. I think on Tuesday mm. or Thursday, I was teaching on Zoom mm -hmm. and I was explaining wonders mm -hmm. and miracle. Yes. And I said wonders and miracle is total, totally different. different. Yes. 
it's not the same. Mm -hmm. And I gave a scripture, I believe, in Romans. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me go there very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in, people of God. Bring your questions in. I'm sure you guys have questions this evening. So if you do not ask a question, somebody will be forced to be on the hot seat next week. <laughs> so come on in and ask your questions. I'll ask your question, praise God. What is, okay, I guess this is no video. Okay, so I guess it's okay now. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4. I don't know if you want me to. You go ahead and read, please, prophet. I'm reading from the New International Version. Go ahead, please. God also testified. I have a question. One minute. Oh, hold on, Tika, please. <laughs> Welcome in. It says, God also testified, mm -hmm. Hebrew 2 4, God also testified mm -hmm. to it by signs, wonders, mm -hmm. and various miracles. You see, Hebrew chapter 2, verse number 4, differentiate signs mm -hmm. from wonders mm -hmm. and wonders from mm -hmm. miracles. Sign from wonders and wonders from miracles. They are never the same. Mm -hmm. Signs, so if you see, Paul is saying that God testified by demonstrating signs, mm -hmm. wonders, mm -hmm. and miracles. And we just saw in Psalm 107, mm -hmm. I believe the verse number 24, mm -hmm. Scripture says that wonders are discovered in the deep. Mm -hmm. Miracles are what we see every time. Signs are what we see every day. Mm. You cannot experience the wonders of God without touching the deep. Mm. So people that are operating in wonders mm -hmm. are people that are in the deep. Mm. What is the difference between miracles mm -hmm. and wonders? Yes. There's a huge difference. Yes. And I'm going to show you. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I am sick. Mm -hmm. I come on Zoom. Mm -hmm. I come on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I come on YouTube like everybody else. Yes. And then the prophet locates me. Mm -hmm. The prophet pray for me. And all of a sudden, the headache is gone. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's not wonders. Okay. I am praying for a job. Mm -hmm. And the next week, God bless me with a job. Mm -hmm. It is a miracle. It's a miracle. It's not wonders. Okay. Are you listening? I'm listening. What is wonders? Mm -hmm. hmm. Wonders is when I can, let's use Jesus as an example. Right. Jesus was doing miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus' miracles are opening the blind eyes. Right. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. Causing the cripple to walk. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. Yes. Now, Jesus was in the deep. He started performing wonders. What is wonders? Mm -hmm. Wonders is when I take a glass of water mm -hmm. and I can turn it into the best wine. That's not a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's wonders. Wonders is when I can walk on the water. It's not a miracle. It's <laughs> wonders. So let's go deeper. Mm -hmm. In the root word, what is wonders? Wonders is somebody that have the ability to exercise power and authority over nature. Over nature. Mm. And over everything, both in the heavens, mm -hmm. on earth, mm -hmm. and under mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. So there was a prophet that moved from the place of miracle to a place of wonders. Mm -hmm. And that prophet was called Elijah. Mm. Elijah had the power and the authority to speak or to exercise his will over nature when God has not yet mm. commanded him. Elijah stood and said, by my words, mm -hmm. I declare mm -hmm. there will not be no rain mm -hmm. For roughly three and a half years, God did not speak to Elijah. But Elijah was able to exercise power over nature. 
Elijah was able to enter into the realms of rain. Mm -hmm. Rain, listening to Elijah, <laughs> even though the rain had to come, but the rain was afraid of Elijah's utterances. Jesus. It's called wonders. Mm. It's not miracle. Oh. One would say that's a miracle. No. But it's not. It's not a miracle. It's wonders. Mm -hmm. So you see that in the Bible, there were a lot of prophets, mm -hmm. a lot of people of God, but mm -hmm. only few was able to touch in the realm of wonders. Mm. It's not the same. We have few men of God that was able to cause wonders to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, Moses came to a place of the deep. So he was able to cause wonders. Mm. He was able to exercise authority over nature. Mm -hmm. Now, you know that water is not discovered in where? In the stone. Right. But Moses could cause water. Mm -hmm. to gush out from stone because he came to a place of having authority mm -hmm. over yes. nature so yes. he had authority over water wow. and stone so water could what listen mm. to him come out from the do you stone. remember the disciples when after jesus said wave be calm storm be calm mm -hmm. they were marveled and said who is this man mm -hmm. that he could even talk to what to the, the storm. The yes, and that's some that is wonder. nature. That is wonder. Uh -huh. Oh. Because the only person that can speak to nature for nature to listen is God. Mm. You see, Prophet, honestly speaking. All uh, these people mm -hmm. that that do no. <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. miracles, mm -hmm. we, are, we are born to walk in miracles. We are born to go deeper with God, mm -hmm. to walk in wonders. Mm -hmm. Wonders is when you will need money. Mm -hmm. You don't have money. You can tell your daughter, go to uh, Pont Jacques Cartier, mm -hmm. go through the, how the they call it? Line. Fish. <laughs> The first fish that will come, mm -hmm. take one billion dollars from their mouth. Mm -hmm. This is not miracle. This is wonders. Because money is not discovered in any amount of fish, nor in water. But ah. if you can speak, if you can speak to nature, and for nature to listen to you, to bring something that is not, or that is out of their will, mm. it's called wonders. So all this miracle I'm stating, uh, sorry, wonders I'm stating, yeah. they are not miracle because they caused, they spoke to nature mm -hmm. for nature to change how they are created. Mm. You understand? Yes. Water is created to flow. Wow. Rocks are not created to gush water. Mm. You see, every creation God has created and has given them each assignment. But if you can have authority over them and change them to listen to you mm. to do other things, that is called wonders. Honestly, I always thought they, they were miracles. No, <laughs> you see this That's water. So yes. It is water. Mm -hmm. God created it to be water. Mm -hmm. If I can lift it up, look at it, speak mm. to it, that I want you to turn to apple juice. Mm. It's not apple juice. And this water can listen to me mm -hmm. and turn into apple juice. It's wonders. Hey, Jesus. It's not a miracle. It means that I have come to the deep. So the what, water into wine, what, that was a wonder? It, well, it's a wonder. It's not a miracle. Jesus. Because it's power over nature. Wow. Uh-huh. This goes beyond, that water Jesus. into wine goes beyond spirit. It's mm. not dealing with demons. <laughs> Jesus. It's not dealing with demons. Even if there is demonic spirit behind this water, and I drink it, yes, and it still tastes water. <laughs> Prophet, hold on, please. Sorry. <laughs> no, I have to interrupt you because the people are not hearing what you're saying. Oh, yeah? Yes. They said no audio, visual frozen, no sound on Media Zoom. team. So nothing is happening on Zoom. Let me see if anybody is on Facebook talking to us. Sorry, I had to, to interrupt you because they need to hear this. But uh, thank you for letting us know. 
if you if you can hear now please please let us know amen for those of you on zoom um on facebook we have sister florence sister diane if you if you guys can hear us please let us know let us know if you can hear us no audio no visual uh no sound okay someone is saying everything it's okay so we lost you for two minutes, both visual and audio. What is it? I can hear. Okay, so Sister Comfy can hear. Uh, Where is Sister Comfy? Toronto. She's no, a, on Zoom. No, she's on Zoom. Okay. Um, now it's okay, says Sister Oga. Okay. Now it's good, says Sister Estine. We thank you guys so much. So I have to take it again where they didn't hear. So, because it's very interesting <laughs> that, that what we are we are talking about, and the people have to know. So people, you have to let let her, let um prophet know what where he um where you missed him from. What did you hear? Because he was explaining the difference between wonders and miracles. What is a miracle and what is a wonder? So. Where, where did you miss? Say it again. Sister Nicolette, what is he supposed to say again? Let us know from where, because we thought that you guys were hearing. Um, Sister Diane also have a question for you on Facebook, Prophet. But people, let us know. If you, if you can hear us, where do you want Prophet to pick up from? What did you miss? It's about miracles and wonders. What is the difference between miracle and wonder? So let us know, please. I'm not sure if... They are not allowing us to unmute. Sister Shanna... Lift your hands. Have... When you lift your hands... They're going to bring you because if they allow you to unmute, some people unmute and their babies crying and all that. You okay. Know. <laughs> okay. So you lift your hand, then they are going to give you the. the okay. Go ahead. Sorry, Prophet. Okay, so Sister Shana said, We heard when he said water gushing from, oh, from the rock. So they didn't hear. So he can start from there. Okay. Okay, so they understood that miracles, wonders, signs are completely different. They are things. different, right. Good, and I'm giving the examples of miracles, mm -hmm. signs, no, not sign yet, wonders. Wonders and miracles. Yes, and I'm making you to understand miracle is when I'm sick and I'm healed. Right. Miracle is when I'm believing in God for something and he has given me. Right. But that is not wonders. Right. Wonders is when somebody has power and authority over nature. Right. Speaking to the nature for the nature to do something that is not in the ability or is not in their time. Right. This is wonders. And I gave several examples uh, regarding Jesus Christ. He turned water into wine. Water is water. Water must be water. And water did obey Jesus Christ and turn into the best wine. Right. That's wonders. Mm -hmm. We saw that with a few loaves of bread, with mm. five fishes, Jesus just took it and thanked God and started dividing it or sharing to over more than 5,000 people. Yes. And they all ate. The Bible says they were filled mm -hmm. and there was leftover. Left over, yes. This is not miracle. This is wonders. See now. Because fish and bread is part of... So when you touch it, mm. how can a dead fish cook fish listening to you to multiply? You get it? Yes. Bread is not miracle. This is wonders. Mm -hmm. Now... Miracle is when Jesus opened the eyes of the blind. When the mute will talk, this is miracle. miracle. When the cripple will walk, it's, it's miracle. miracle. It's when prophet will see you and prophesy that next week, God will open a door for you in the area of maybe finance. Mm -hmm. And you are coming to testify. That is a miracle. Right. But wonders is when God, or you have come to a place to have authority and power 
to move or to shift over nature. Mm -hmm. Talking about the prophet Elijah saying that there will not be rain. Mm -hmm. Rain, listen to me, wherever you are, stay there until I tell you to come back. Yes. You see, though rain could listen to Elijah, stay wherever it is until Elijah say you can come now. That's this is wonder. not miracle. This is wonder. Hey. This is over nature. Jesus. Moses hit the, 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 the stone mm -hmm. with the, the, the rod. Stone does not produce water. Mm -mm. But that, that, that time, water came. Water came. Mm -hmm. That's not miracle. That is wonders. Mm -hmm. It is over nature. Wow. You understand? I understand so, now. You have to know the difference between miracles mm -hmm. and wonders. That's right. And wonders is not on the surface. Everybody that believes, listen, oh, everybody that believes in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. can have a miracle. Right. But right. everybody that believes in Jesus Christ, you cannot exhibit wonders unless <laughs> you move from that place of belief to the, to the deep. The, to the deep. Mm, Jesus. Yes. So, oh, so all this time, as I said, <laughs> honestly speaking, I, I think all these things were miracles. No. Now I do understand the difference between miracles and wonders. So if you observe, so, there yes. are many prophets that can perform miracles, mm -hmm. but there are few prophets that have touched the area of wonders. And even rare. It's, it's very hard to, to point a prophet touching the area of wonders. Jesus. Mm. Yes. I'm not going to ask the question I wanted to ask. I'll ask it another time. Sister, as you say, ah, so I'm guessing that direction is a wonder. Direction? What do you mean direction? When you like are when you give a direction? Okay. Now, one thing you have to understand that direction is not miracle, but direction produces miracle. Direction cannot be a wonder. Right. Right. Now, when we talk about science, we, we, we left science. Mm -hmm. Science is something that leads a man to somewhere. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. So as we are coming, we follow science. Yes. Any time something can be visible for man to follow is a sign. So now you're moving into science. Well, Sister Comfy, I have a question for oh, you. Oh, what is it? <laughs> what is it? She says, hi, prophet. Would you say Jesus raising dead is example of wonders. Now, how can we say this? Now, is it body? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is the body dead? Yes. Yes. The body has no life? No. Yes. Okay. Is body part of God's nature? Creation? Yes. Yes, he created. Okay. Yes. So, if Elijah, uh, uh, what is the, the, this prophet, can command dry bones to come back to life. It's still resurrection then. This is oh, not Jesus. miracle. This Prophet. is wonders. Prophet. Yes. Why am I confused now? Wait. <laughs> so, Hold Sister Confi. So, Sister Confi, yes. Yeah. It's not miracle. It's wonders. Wonders. Yes. Even mostly the... the, 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 the the case of Jesus, because Lazarus or the man had he passed mm -hmm. the time that the body should react. The Bible says that the man started thinking. Mm -hmm. It means that there is nothing that could bring this man up back again. Right. Everything the man has given completely his ghost. Yes. And Jesus Christ. Speaking for the dead bones, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Where Lazarus reached, there was no blood circulating in him anymore. Right. So Jesus caused blood to come. Mm. This is wonders. It's not miracle. Right. Not miracle. It's one. We have to know how what it. I just showed you in the book of Hebrews. Right? So, yeah, but so many wonders are not happening now. It's rare. Hey. There are some happening, but it's really rare because the church now wants to be at the surface. 
And such wonders don't happen oh. on the surface. It, it, it is in the deep. You know, not like the days gone of the days that people will really be hungry to go to the deep. Mm. Now everybody is busy chasing for yes. money. Everybody is busy fighting over, over time. When you go to San Job, people are not talking because of overtime. <laughs> they, <laughs> oh, Jesus they are busy fighting. <laughs> you you call, call for a night vigil mm -hmm. all night. Just finish at one. Mm -hmm. You'll be disappointed how many mm -hmm. of us will show up. Than to don't even make the mistake to call for 24 <laughs> hours prayer. Cha yataba dada bush. Jesus. You see, so the church, we are not hungry. Mm. We are not hungry. Even pastors, even prophets today, we are not hungry. The prophet today, they are social media prophets. Mm. They don't have this life to go deeper. You see, fasting must be the lifestyle of every prophet. Mm -hmm. At least one, twice a week, you mm -hmm. should fast at least. You don't wait until you do 40 days fasting. Mm. It, be, it should be part of you. Yes. These are the things that put you into a place to go to the deep. Because such things cause you to exercise, you know, power over your flesh. Mm -hmm. That the flesh shall okay. come to your spirit. Yes. Man. And you can't go deeper full of flesh. Mm -mm. No. So yes, it's a comfy. <laughs> Hmm. Lazarus coming back to that <laughs> is not a miracle. So what? Yes, amen. So you see, that's why I want. I ask the question: What is there in the deep? You understand? What is there? What is waiting for us as we go in there? What is there in the deep? Otika, we haven't forgotten you. <laughs> so, Prophet, thank you so much, Sister Comfy. I hope Prophet helped you this evening with your question. Praise God. Uh, Sister Tika is here. And she but has, I hope I yes. hope we are getting it. We are understanding the it. difference. Yes, because you should, so that you will be thirsty yes. and hungry to go to the deep. Yes, soft is soft. You know, I have even people that just this little thing God is doing with us. They are afraid as, of us. I say, me, you are afraid of me. <laughs> you don't know where I want to go. I want to <laughs> come to a place that I can vanish and go home. <laughs> And many times I've been desiring for it, mostly when the weather is very cold like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus, I wish I can just sit in the car, just fire! Mm. And I'm in front of my <laughs> <Adio>. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a wonder, America? <laughs> that would be a wonder. Ah, yes. Because I'm exercising what? Authority over nature. Oh, Jesus. Right? It's to exercise authority over nature. Yes. That is where the wonder comes That's in. That's right. Mm. What, what the, the nature is not doing and you are commanding that nature to do mm. is a wonder. Jesus. Wow. Well, I never knew that. So I can see in the, mirac uh, in the spirit, it's mm -hmm. not wonder. It's not miracle either. Mm -hmm. It's a sign. It's a sign, yes. Seeing in the spirit. But if seeing in the spirit, prophesying for it to come to pass is a miracle. Mm. Because if I just see in the spirit, I can show people that there is something beyond the physical. It's a sign. Amen. We lost you. Okay, so they're not hearing us. All right. I don't know why the connection is... The audio is gone again. Okay. We're Media so team, help us, help us, help us. The audio is gone again. Mm-hmm. Frozen again, no audio. All right. The multimedia team is working hard. I think we are back. Okay. But Tika has a, que has a question. Oh, Tika, she, come, 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 come. She has three questions for you. <laughs> Tika, come, come online. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper, let's go deeper. Yes. Media team, can you bring, can you project Tika for us? Oh, Where is uh, she? But you want to hear Tika's question? I wonder what time did Tika connect? I she want Tika says, to come online. Yes. Tika, come on in and ask your question, please. 
Sister Essie, you too. Good night. Good night. Good night. We can see you. Media team, can you bring her? Yes, where is she? I'm here. Yes, we can hear you, Tika. Oh, somebody is screaming. Okay, at so my questions are Somebody is screaming at your back. I'm sorry, it's my father. Oh, <laughs> daddy, daddy, don't worry your voice. So, my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So, my first question is. Mm -hmm. How do we know when we are entering into the deep? Okay, you are going to know. It, it, it is step by step, right? Because when, before even entering into deep, 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 you are going to have encounters, mm -hmm. many, many encounters. Mm -hmm. And um, there, there's going to be an announcement. There's going to be an announcement, right? The same way that when you reach somewhere on earth, people wish you congratulations. For example, if you are in a job and you are going to the next level, mm -hmm. the people there will welcome you. Hi, I'm this. I take care of this. The same thing happened in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So when you are going deeper, you are going to have encounter with several angels, different dimensions of wow. angels. Some angels that are half human, half angels. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that you will see that you, you are, mm -hmm. you are going, going to yes. And they are going to also work with you. They are going to teach you more. Mm -hmm. God will cause you to see certain things, certain visions, you know, that you yourself, you know that where I'm going, mm -hmm. I'm going in the deep. It's like you swimming, right? When you are swimming and you get in the deep, uh -huh. nobody, nobody tells you you are in the deep. <laughs> you will know. <laughs> you feel it. <laughs> The same hmm. thing, when you are getting there, okay. you will know that you are getting there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. And so, number two, and, and lastly, when we get there, one minute, what are we to do? Hold one on, minute. Tika. Lastly, the deep also has levels. Mm. It's not just getting at one place and I'm there. Hey. No, it has levels. The more <laughs> you desire, the more you can the go. The higher you go, the deeper yeah. you go. The deeper you the go. The deeper you go. Yes. Yes, Tika, your second one. Yeah, so my second one is, when we get there, what are we to do? <laughs> okay. Or what is expected of us to do when we're there in the deep? Mm -hmm. I think deep, uh, Tika want to go in the deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she, she wants to go, okay, let me use this example to help you out. Mm -hmm. You see, when you are a child, right? Mm -hmm. The Bible says uh -huh. you think like a child. When you grow up, you think like a grown up. Um, I remember when I was coming up in the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. There was an angel that appeared to me. And I forgot the question, but I asked this angel a question. The angel looked at me. And the angel said, when you get there, you will know. Mm. Mm -hmm. When you get there, you will know. Tika, let me share one thing about the things of the spirit. The things of the spirit is, for example, we are talking about the deep. When I get to the deep, I don't just, just get to the deep and it looks like I'm lost. No. Before you get to the deep, now, God is growing you. Mm -hmm. Your mind is developing to synchronize to your spirit. Everything about you is going to the deep. Your flesh is succumbing mm. deep, deep, deep. Mm. So when you get there, your spiritual sensation, your spiritual frequency, they are very high. Mm. So when you get there, you know your spirit man Community. And because the flesh is dead, mm. it's so quick. Yes. So quick. Right? Now, I want, to, I, want to, I want to show you something in the scripture very quick. Get your Bible, Tika. <laughs> very, very quick. Mm. 
because um, hmm, you can get get your Bible, your your questions are being answered. Thank you so much for. It's asking. a good question. Yes. Amen. Um. Sister Diane, I see you have a question. Can you come in Zoom? Come in Zoom and ask your question, please. Amen. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Tika, the verse 11. Tika, you have your Bible? 1 Corinthians Chapter number two. You have to make sure she's hearing us. The verse 11. Can yes. you hear Tika? Hello, Tika. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. I was muted. Okay. Oh, okay. First Corinthians 2, the verse number 11. You want me to read? Sure. No one can know what anyone else is really thinking. I don't like your version. Okay. Which one do you want? <laughs> um, okay, read it. Read it. For what okay. the man knows, the things of a man, except the spirit of the man. Which Think, is are, in you, him. are you getting it? First Corinthians, where? 2 11. Okay. For you what? have the NIV? The NIV, yes. Yes, read. It says, the Spirit searches all things, uh -huh. even the deep things of God. Uh -huh. Is it the NIV? NIV. Is it <laughs> different? My different? Who read yours? For who knows a person's thought mm. except their own spirit mm -hmm. within them? In the same way, mm -hmm. no one knows the thought of God mm -hmm. except the spirit of God. Yes. Please listen. Mm -hmm. What we have received is not the spirit of the world, mm -hmm. but the spirit who, who is from God, mm -hmm. so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. so God has given us a spirit mm -hmm. To make us to know things and to know what to do, to mm -hmm. understand. Think, are you here? Yes, I am. Or you want me to read it again? I understand it. I'm reading it Good. as well. So when I get Thank to you. the deep, <laughs> the spirit of God, because my spirit is sharp, for, don't, don't forget, the Bible says that nobody knows my thought. Except my spirit. Mm -hmm. And nobody knows the thought of God except his spirit. Mm -hmm. But God has given us his spirit mm -hmm. so that we can understand things. Mm -hmm. of the spirit. So the measure of the spirit you have determines the measure of your understanding. Mm -hmm. mm. Because the spirit of God is in measure. Mm -hmm. The deeper you go, oh. The deeper the measure. Mm -hmm. So you see that you, you will just understand. Mm -hmm. You will just know. You will not know, need nobody. You will have intervention, angelic visitations. Uh, a whole lot will happen wow. that you will come to know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Think of your last question. Yes, my last question is... How do we make sure that we are making the best of that season of entering into the deep? Right. Number one, how will you know? Is by the level of your hunger and your thirst. If you are hungry, you go deeper. There's nobody that is hungry that is not yearning for food or yearning for food. When you are hungry, you have to, <laughs> unless maybe you are fasting, mm -hmm. and then you are trying to, but when you are hungry, you yearn for food. Yes. So once you are hungry in the spirit, you will yearn to grow, you get to the places, you will, you will forgo everything. As mm -hmm. you are going, 
that you know you are certain you will even see based on your attitude your behavior your perception your, your per, uh, perception you will know that wow ah, I, I have changed mm. <laughs> i know Something. tika before <laughs> yes and i know tika now <laughs> If it's huh. before, this is the way I would think. Mm -hmm. But now I am mature. That's the, the word some that we use. I am mature. mature. Yes. So your maturity or your exhibition will ensure you that rather you are getting deeper. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Tika, we thank you so much for your question. We are at 741. I want to talk a little about, a bit about the three-day program profit that we are having. My love story must change. And... Um, I, I am sure it's not just for couples, husband and wives, no, right? No. Exactly. So now, my love story must change. I'm going to ask you to just um, give us a little insight on what we are supposed to be expecting from this three-day program. Beloved, my love story must change. You can correct me, um, Sister Karen. Yes. If I am making... Uh, I am making a mistake. Um, it's been at least, I think, for the past four years to five years. You've been doing it? We've been doing my love story must change. Mm -hmm. It is something God really put in my spirit to do. It is a three days that we allow God in our relationship, mm -hmm. not only marriage. No in our relationship somebody asked me a question what if i am 82 and i don't have any relationship i said you have children mm. you have grandchildren yes you have people that you can stand in for them yes and pray intercede on your behalf that father what i have faced in my relationship don't let mm. them face the mistake I did, don't let it repeat in their lives. So my love story must change. It's not only people that are married, people that want to get married, mm -hmm. people in relationship. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. Because God said, no man should be lonely in life. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And we can tell that the reason why God created woman was because man would not be lonely. Amen. You see, mm -hmm. so it is the three days that we put aside and we just focus, we don't add any prayer. We focus, Father, I hand my relationship to you. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is working against whatever, my marriage, my relationship, if there is a mistake I have done, if there is a past thing, Father, these three days, mm -hmm. Come to the foundation and correct things. Amen. If you think that you will not marry again, you have children, you have grandchildren, you have people you love, mm -hmm. stand in the gap for them. Amen. So it is about everything that makes our love life complete. It's not Amen. for only married people. There right. are some married people married, their love lives are not complete. They are mm. always fighting. They are always arguing. Uh, the man is sleeping in the garage and the woman mm. in the kitchen. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. When they come out, they pretend that everything is mm. okay. When they go home, don't talk to me. Mm. They are living under one roof, mm -hmm. but they talk through text messages. Mm. Jesus. Something is wrong. Yes. Your, your love life is not complete. They don't talk. You see the husband in this room, the other in the room, talking on the phone. They mm. never see each other. <laughs> there is this case that uh, I, I've hmm. been dealing with. Oh, my God. Anyway, so let's come. <laughs> <laughs> I was program. about to say it, and the, the Spirit of God said I shouldn't no. see it. The so, program is coming up. <laughs> yes. Come, make yourself available. It's Friday. Mm hmm you see, let me tell you, I always say this and people joke. I said because of our love life, that is not well. Many of us, we are not well. Mm. We are not well. No. There are wounded Christians in the area of love. Mm. Can I share something with you? Please. Do you know Samson died before his time? Mm. He's giving time. 
one of the most mm. anointed man, died before his time because his love life was incomplete. Yes. What killed Samson was not God. Mm. What killed Samson was a wrong love matter that he couldn't face. He was focused on so much on the, the oil, but mm. he couldn't allow God to stop in the love matter. Jesus. He made several mistakes, continued to make mistakes, until his enemy finally gripped him. Mm -hmm. And his last prayer was a prayer of discouragement. Jesus. God, kill me mm. together with my enemies. Jesus. He did not finish his assignment. And a lot of us, we are giving up in life because of our frustrated love matters. Mm. Because you dated this person and the mess they brought you through, you have become psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, everything nally incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Every nally. <laughs> Jesus. Everything nally wrong, mm -hmm. you know? Everything. And right now, it has become, the devil has even penetrated and now using it as a demonic tool against your, your life. So it is a, a program that it is open for everybody. Don't say that me, my marriage is okay, my relationship is okay, I don't need this type of... This is a wrong statement. Mm. Because you don't know what is ahead of you tomorrow. There is nobody that got married today and did wedding and knew what they will face in mm. the next three months. That's true. That is why you had to hand it to God yes. so that... The next three months, whatever you face, God will go ahead of, of you mm -hmm. and do what? And level every ground. Amen. The pe there are some people that always say, me, I'm okay. I have everything I need. I don't need this. These are some mistakes we do because we don't know the future. Mm. And because we don't know the future, we don't know what is waiting ahead of us. That's why we have to give our ways. Mm. You know, yes. Bible says we should acknowledge God in all our ways mm -hmm. and he will direct our path. Mm -hmm. So it's time to acknowledge God in the area of your marriage, in the area of your relationship. The church today, we need deliverance. Mm. If a little thing is happening in our, our relationship, we want to run, we want to quit, we want to give up. Mm -hmm. Somebody just want to use one day to give up on over 50 years mm. marriage. It's not yes, right. Ma when you marry that husband, that wife, you had nothing. The mm -hmm. man did not have anything. Mm -hmm. You guys have fought together, mm -hmm. put your mind together, mm -hmm. built together, mm -hmm. raised these children together. Mm -hmm. After 30 years, 20 years, after 50 years, you don't want to know anything. Jesus. You just want to use one day to collapse everything. Mm. It means it's not normal. There is something behind yes, the scenes. You need God's intervention. Amen. Amen. Because it's not the first time this guy is doing. Mm. Why the, the first time he did, you, you find a way to overlook or handle it, and you have read this time, and this time you say no. Mm. It means there is some... So, these three days mm -hmm. or three nights, if we may say, we are going to deal with the whole lot. Amen. Those that have been attending, you know already. Please, are we coming in? Is the, the Zoom okay? Is the connection fine before <laughs> I repeat? Amen. Mm. Oh, God. You, <laughs> we have no... Yes, thank you so much, Sam. Sam say yes. Because there are a lot of fake relationships happening. Mm. Yes, we have fake from the beginning up to now. Because the world is telling us, fake it until you make it. No. I'm going to break it. <laughs> no, you can't fake it until you make mm. it. What if you fake it and in the middle you die? Mm, Jesus. You need God's intervention. You have to pray, God, come. There are some of us, you've reached the place you have to get married and have children. And no man is showing up. It's not because you are not pretty. You mm. have everything. Mm. You, from head to toe. You have all. Something's wrong. Ah. So it's about time that you don't just cry. And you, didn't, you don't just say, me, I have given up. Mm. 
Mm. It's time that you go deeper with God. Mm -hmm. God, talk to me. Mm. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. What is happening? Mm -hmm. What must I do? Is there something you must show me? Mm -hmm. God, I am ready. Come to my aid mm. in my relationship. Jesus. And let your will be fulfilled. Amen. God will do it. Amen. Because he says in his word, according to James, if you draw close to me, I will draw close to you. So Amen. this is the purpose of my love story must change. Praise yes. the Lord. Prophet, thank you so very much. Oh, yes, the time just fly. Now it's 7.51. So I believe we're coming to an end right here. So now, Prophet, you know this is the Monday Pure Prophetic. And uh, I have to give you a chance to uh, prophesy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Because um, people are asking why we are not doing much prophecy. But... You know, we ask questions here because we are learning every day. So we also need to know when there is a theme of the month, we need to understand why the theme and what the Lord is saying through this theme that he chooses every month through the man of God. So, yes, the prophecy is going to come. So I'm about to just release you, prophet, right now. So you do what you do best. The multimedia team is going to bring someone for you. And uh, you're going to prophesy just before that happened. I'm going to take one, one second just to say tomorrow night, just a reminder, we are meeting at 9 p.m. on the prayer line. Wednesday Bible study is at 7 p.m. Friday night, Friday night, we will be in the sanctuary from 7, 7 o'clock. My love story must change. We'll be back Saturday 6, Sunday Join us 11.30 a.m. Praise God. That's when the conclusion is going to happen. Prophet, I now release you in your office in the name of Jesus. Uh, Sister Karen, yes, somebody sir. asked me yes. why we are always bringing, the media team, mm -hmm. rather, is always bringing mm -hmm. the same people on Zoom. The same people? Is it because the, the cameras are off? That's I right. Don't know. Yeah. That's right. So I told them that on Zoom, mm -hmm. if your camera is not on, mm -hmm. they will not bring you. Yes. So before I move to 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 get connected to the media team, yes. I want to let the Zoom people know. Yes. If your camera is off, yes. To us it's a sign that you just want to come and listen. Right. Number 2, if your camera is off, it's a sign that we don't know because we don't want to call you prophesying to you while you are enjoying your sleep. Right. Because right. we don't know if you are sleeping, we don't know if you are awake, mm -hmm. and we don't, the time that we are going to spend while you are sleeping and waste that time, mm -hmm. you could locate another person That's right. that their cameras are on mm -hmm. and we know that they are ready to receive. Amen. So the reason why we tell you to turn your videos on mm -hmm. so that we will know that you are ready to receive. Yes. Amen. If not, we say that, oh, you are like any other person. You are right. not ready. You're so just connecting, but that's you're right. really not there. So this is why the media team mm -hmm. are bringing those that their stuff are on. Amen. Oh, somebody had a question. You are going to get into trouble. What is it? Uh, you better go on Zoom. <laughs> because I don't see you here. Ah, somebody was. There are a lot of people with questions. Anyway, media team. Are you <laughs> ready for me? So it's a Gladys and who? Oh. A lot of people. Well, we were deep into something. I'm so sorry. <laughs> bring them, bring them, bring them. Oh. Are they there? I'm not seeing on the on my we screen have somebody here. On Zoom. Yeah, on my screen. Just bring them on my screen for me. <laughs> on the TV. Me not... there. Hello, my sister. How are you? I'm well. I'm okay. Great. I'm not seeing you, but I'll move forward because of time. I think it's five minutes to eight. They are showing me something My else. camera is on. No, it's not you. It's my team. They are showing me something else on my screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I will go. Just close your eyes. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I thank you. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Uh, my sister, I am seeing somebody talking to you and the person is a male on the telephone. The person is showing care in the spirit according to what I'm seeing. The person is talking to you, getting to know how you are doing, how things are going and all that. But in the realms of the spirit, I'm seeing that the person also is interested in you. I'm talking according to what I am seeing. I am seeing that the person is interested in you. I see. Thank you very much, Tim. I see that the person is interested in you. And I'm seeing all that. But God said, I should tell you. Me, I don't know what is happening. No, no. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. <laughs> So God said, I should tell you to be very vigilant and be very prayerful about your relationship and your love matter. If not, what you've been through, you'll go through it again. Mm. Because I'm seeing that this individual mm. from the beginning will make you have the sense of caring towards, because I'm seeing even deeper. I don't know if I have enough time. I'm seeing that, uh, you see, my sister is finally living with this man and they are living in the house. They are not married mm -hmm. and they are doing what married people are doing mm -hmm. and, you know, on and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. My sister, talk to me. Does it make any sense what I'm seeing? Is there something like that? It's true. You hit on the point. <laughs> I don't know. Talk to me. Me, I'm telling you what I'm seeing. What's going on? She's is not she hearing me. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you now, but I'm not seeing anything. Oh, she what? Missed. What did she? Did okay, I'm point. seeing you now. Did you hear what I said? The, the last thing I heard was when you said that the person from the beginning and okay. then the trailed off. Okay. Wow. Today, our stuff are giving us problems. Mm -hmm. We will work it out. Can you hear me now? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. So when you, it's cut off, you let me know, okay? You write okay. or you let me know. In the realms of the spirit, the moment you appear, I saw that there was a man, and the man was talking to you on the telephone. Are you there? Mm -hmm. the yes, I'm here, okay. So in care and all that, trying to see how you're doing, how things are going, and all that. And later on, okay. I saw that, uh, the man was not on the telephone anymore, but I saw that you were living under the same roof with the man, right? But the man did not, uh, was not how he showed himself from the mm -hmm. beginning. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said that okay. you should be vigilant and prayerful according to the vision that you will not repeat what was repeated in your relationship and your love matters. Mm -hmm. Because if not, there's going to be okay. a repetition. You'll be under one roof with the man without no uh, marriage, but still things happening. And God said, I should tell you to be very vigilant and to be very sensitive that you won't go through no... Uh, uh, frustrating uh, uh, love matters as you have been. And I'm asking you, I don't know what is happening. I don't live with you. The moment you appear, I've seen the vision. And I'm asking you, what is happening? Is it making sense what God is saying? It's she gone was frozen bit. for a little bit. Oh, this thing mm -hmm. is not making the prophetic flow. No. She says frozen. After you said vigilant, no ideal. So she did not hear what happened after that. Media team, help me, help me, help me. You're not making me flow. Please. I'm hearing. Yes. Okay, so talk to me. What is happening? Right. The last thing you said was um, God is telling you that I should be vigilant. Mm -hmm. And be sensitive. Right. That's the last thing I heard. Be prayerful in regard to your love matters. Okay, your love life. And I ask you, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Is it making sense? Is it what 
what is happening okay so i am not under the roof now because i am in the uk but you are um this person man? you are referring to mm -hmm. i was living with him back home in st vincent uh -huh. and he still tries to get at me on the phone i don't shun him but i'm not having deep conversations but i do talk to him okay yeah so i think that's who you're referring to okay and does he want to come where you are now well no he he mentioned something but it was very wide he wasn't specific he was thinking about traveling abroad but he never said where then be careful low hmm. and pray about your love matter so because i saw the call i will showing caring and later on i saw it was you that was under the roof with my sister are you cooking now <laughs> it was you <laughs> that was under his roof and then you were not happy so i pray for you i pray that you will join my love story must change and be very vigilant if not you are going to go through a lot of mess. Is she there? Yes, I'm here. I'm looking forward to my love story must change. Because if not... I will be joining up. Yes, please. If not, okay, it's not going to be well for you. It's not going to be well for you. Huh. It's very, very important. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that God will perfect everything concerning your love matter Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will connect you to the right person. I pray Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any bloodline impediment regarding your love life will be canceled in Jesus. the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. So be vigilant. Don't entertain his cause. If not, his call will entertain you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Media team, who, who are you bringing next, please? It's God. Who else? Do we have someone else coming? Men. Are they there? Somebody's there, we can't see. I'm just seeing darkness, but I will do what God has called me to do. My sister, Amen. can you hear me? Hello, I Good morning, you. Prophet. Can you oh sorry? My brother, can you hear me? You see, this is the problem. I don't hear you, so I Yes, man of God. I'm dress I'm addressing you by sister. Forgive me, okay? Let's pray. My yes, God, Father. my Father, I bless you. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My brother, talk to me. I am seeing a police officer in front of you. Can you hear me? Yes, please. And the police officer is interrogating you. And the police officer is asking you an ID. And in the spirit, the police officer asks the ID and you are putting your, your hands in your pocket and there was no ID. In the realms of the spirit, I saw myself standing at the place that the thing is happening. And I told you that don't you have any ID? All of a sudden, I saw an angel put a passport. Put a passport. But the passport is, was not the passport of the land that the police officer was interrogating you on. And in the realms of the spirit, I saw, I don't know what was going on, the police officer trying to be very aggressive and trying to put you in their car. All of a sudden, I saw the angel that was standing as 
uh, with us. The angel pick up the police officer and the angel pick you up and the angel lifted you into the into the heaven. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the angel put the policeman down. Mm -hmm. When the angel put the policeman down, I saw the policeman or the police officer knelt and started praying. Mm. My brother, are you there? Can yes, you? please. Good. Talk to me. Does it make any sense in regard to where you are, where you stay, the place you are, the country, are you having your document or you don't have it yet? I, I don't have it yet. Okay. Second question. Do you drive or you don't drive or you drive illegally? I, I, don't, I don't drive yet. I don't have a driving license. It's three questions. I'm actually in Ghana, but I don't have any... You don't yet. have what? I don't have a license for driving it. But do you drive? No, please. You don't drive. Are you born in Ghana? You are in Ghana. Are you born in Ghana? Yes, please. Okay. The reason why I'm asking... Okay, so... Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I have a friend who... Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to see tomorrow or this morning. And then he, he has a car and he drives. Okay. And the intention is for him to teach me how to drive. Okay. So this is how it's connected to the vision. I now get it. So it means that because I don't have a license, we may meet a police who demand for that document, which I don't actually have. So you are trying to interpret yeah. that vision for me <laughs> or for yourself? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he says, you know, get the vision, okay? So That's then. what I'm saying. He's trying try to interpret for me. Wow. You are bold. <laughs> Listen very carefully. Be very careful. Are you listening to okay, me? Okay, man. If not in this season, you yes, are going please. to have a serious uh, problem with the police officer. Okay? Are you listening okay, to man. me? Okay, man. You said you don't drive. Yes, please. But somebody is going to teach you how to drive. No. Be very careful because I saw that you face an issue with the police officer. Okay, and the police officer was giving you a problem. You didn't have no card over you. You didn't have a passport of the land. Yes, please. You have a passport of Ghana? Yes, I, it's, it's expired. I have to renew it. And I saw that it was God that intervened. Okay. It was God that intervened. What happened is the angel lifted you and you entered the sky and the policeman, the angel put on the ground and he knelt starting to pray. But God said, I should tell you, be very careful because that man wanted to give you a serious issue, a serious problem. You had no license, you have no ID, you have no nothing. Be very vigilant not to put any car on the road as you are going to learn how to drive today, which is in your time, tomorrow in our time. Mm -hmm. Make sure you pray. Make sure you go to places that is not, you know, to the public or anything because there is a pro problem that has been programmed before you mm. with the police officer. Are you getting me? Hello. Yes, man of God. And if you are not careful, this problem is very serious. Yes, please. Mm. Very, very serious. There was an angelic intervention, but God is warning, according to how I was seeing, mm -hmm. but God is warning you that as you are going to drive today, 
apply wisdom. Don't go to roads. Don't go on places. Go on open fields. That You know what I mean? I don't know how they do it in Africa, but the word to a wise is enough. Mm -hmm. So God has saved you today. If not, it's not going to be good mm. for you. Because I saw the police officer very serious. Mm -hmm. And this guy had no ID to prove. Not even passport mm. to prove. You know? No wonder he's saying the passport has expired. Mm. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any trouble that they have programmed Amen. for you mm. this month, mm. I declare may the Lord frustrate it in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Any trouble Amen. they have orchestrated for you to fall in, I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord cause you to escape. Oh. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. that this month mm. God will favor you. Amen. That this month you will see that God Amen. is with you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My brother, be very careful. If Amen. you are not careful, the devil will break you down. Because I'm seeing that there is an announcement. I'm seeing an eagle. And the eagle is holding something like a paper. And I'm seeing that the eagle has dropped the paper before this man. Even I don't see you, but before the man. And I'm seeing that the man has opened the paper, reading the paper. And the paper was about somebody that this person loved that is dead all of a sudden. Mm. Like, a, a, how do you call it? Dead without no reason. Mm -hmm. And I suddenly. see that the enemy suddenly, mm -hmm. and the enemy is using that to attack this gentleman. Mm. And the Lord said I should tell him to be very careful and pray. Because if not, the devil will use somebody you love or somebody their heart is so connected to you to fight you for you to open up for him to work against you. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes, my Lord. Yes, please. So be prayerful. Hello? Hello? Yes, man of God. I said be very, very prayerful. Hello? Okay? If not somebody you love, okay, sir. somebody you are closer to, there's going to be a bad news. Mm. Like a family-related individual. And pray for your family, okay? Okay. I hope that you understand what I'm saying. Please, can you go into details with respect to my family? This one you cannot <laughs> interpret for me. <laughs> I said the enemy <laughs> want to cut somebody's life off. And it's somebody you really love in the family. Now I'm seeing that this thing has hit you and the enemy has taken advantage. And the Lord said, pray for your family and be very prayerful, mostly this month. All right? Okay, man. God bless you. Okay, sir. May the Lord order your steps yes, and deliver sir. you from any issue, from any trouble in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. God bless you to man of God. Amen. It's 8.14. We're taking the last one and then we are going to a close. Okay, Prophet. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. So the multimedia team is going to bring the last person this evening. Praise God. You have to turn your cameras on. That is the rule of the multimedia team. If they see your face, they bring you on. So we always encourage you to Turn your cameras on. Somebody is on. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hey, prodigal, how do we call this prodigal one? Prodigal daughter, daughter mm -hmm. or how do we, we call? <laughs> prodigal daughter. Or, or, or prodigal ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch Good night, prophet. Good night. Stretch your hand towards me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the life of your daughter. I pray in the name of Jesus that your will will be done in her life. 
in the name of Jesus. What, what I am seeing is somebody calling you from far and telling you, quick, 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 pick your daughter from school. Pick your daughter from the school. Pick your daughter from the school. There's like a, a strong voice. I see you are walking a strong voice calling, pick your daughter from the school. You have to really pray for your daughter in the school she is in. If not, there's going to be an issue with her. Okay? Okay. I don't know what is going on. Can, but can you go deeper about can you go deeper about that prophet? You're not coming to church and you want me to go deeper. <laughs> Yes, pray, pray for your, your daughter. If not, how deep should I go? Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm now seeing that it's like you have received kind of a letter. I'm seeing in the spirit that you, it's three, three little letters talking about your daughter, Right? Okay. Yes. In the spirit, talking about your daughter. And all of a sudden, I'm seeing right now that you are seated and you are frustrated at your daughter. It's like, you know, having a bad report from the school and frustrated at your daughter. Why do you do that? Why mm -hmm. must you do that? What? It's like, you mm -hmm. know, that you have to do that. You have to do this. Don't do that kind of frustrated to receive that report. Right. And God is telling me that pray for your daughter's school because if not, there's going to be a report and that will be a bad report that they would decide to push your daughter to where that she must not be. Is it deep enough? Oh, because right now I was having problems with her. She not not wanting to do her homework. Okay. When she has work to do, she would leave the book at school, and then when she go back to school, she would tell the teacher she leave the homework at home. So. Okay. Are they reporting to you? Are they complaining about that? Yes, I'm in communication with the teacher about her and her work. And you are frustrated. It is frustrating because I, I really want her to do well in her academics, but she's just taking an attitude where it seems like she's not interested in her schoolwork. Okay. It's not that. And don't be frustrated trying to scream or do what I'm seeing, but your daughter needs prayer. And if you just see it physical like that, uh, they will put your daughter in a place that that will not be your desire for her to be there. I've seen that they, they, they are trying to tag this girl with kind of, I don't know how you guys call it, you know, that the girl has problem of learning in the spirit. I'm Make saying, a learning disability? I don't know how we call it, yes. So you have to really pray for your okay. daughter, you know. Don't take it as uh, physical. You know, because the more you are taking it as physical, the more it's going to be worse. Your daughter needs prayer. Anoint your daughter's head so that they will not put her in a place that she's not designed to be. You understand? Thank you, Prophet. So I'm going to pray for her that God will help her in the mighty name of Jesus. And also pray for yourself because I'm seeing her having some, in the spirit I'm talking about, seeing you having some serious headache. I'm seeing her like lying on the bed and she cannot do anything. Like she can't, she, and she's saying that she's having uh, this, I don't know, Margaret, serious one. Like she can't do anything. Pray against that attack as well okay hello hello 
I don't, I think she can, I don't think she can hear. Maybe now she's here. Can you hear me? It says no audio. Can you hear me? Hello? Nobody can hear. Hello? Well, let me pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your daughter's daughter. I pray that anything she has she is experiencing your grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord will bring her to a place, oh God, that everything will be all right with her. Any spiritual attack, anything attacking her mind, in the name of Jesus, I frustrate it now. I pray for grace, oh God, in the area of her mother, that you will give the mom the grace, oh God, to help the daughter, to pray for the daughter in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray any attack against the mother's mind, the mother's head, will be frustrated in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank God. So we have come Amen. to the end of this evening program, Pure Prophetic Monday. We want to thank each and every one of you for joining us this evening. All those that ask your questions, we thank you. And those who are shy, we pray that next week you will, you will be able to ask your questions. So, but I want to say next week, I have some questions that were sent and, you know, there was not enough time to ask the question. So those people, I'm asking you to come on next week so you will have a chance to ask the man of God your question. Praise God. Amen. Come on on time you will have the, the chance to ask your question. Uh, we just want to apologize because you see the time just run quickly. We thank God for each and every one of you, Prophet. I am going to uh, turn it over to you, but before I do so, tomorrow's uh, our prayer line, 9 p.m. Bible study is Wednesday from 7 p.m. Thursday, we'll be back on the prayer line on Friday. My love story must change. That is day number one. We have three-day program from 7 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, 6, and Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Remember to invite somebody. Hallelujah. Prophet, over to you. In the People of Jesus. God, I want to remind you, wherever you are, to share and invite your friends, your family members, for this uh, weekend program, my love story must change. I think the Zoom is frozen. When you share tomorrow, let me know. I'm going to ask who is sharing tomorrow so that I can prophesy upon your life tomorrow. Those that are sharing already, I've seen one person you shared, amen, on your WhatsApp status. Go ahead, share on Facebook, even on YouTube. Now you can share pictures on YouTube as well. Amen. Go ahead and share in the name of Jesus for tomorrow. Amen. And invite people wherever you are. Invite people in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Invite people to come. It's starting Friday, 7 p.m. Amen. And it's Saturday as well. Amen. Saturday is at 6 p.m. And also on Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow is our fire, prayer, and prophetic. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you join. Wednesday is our Bible studies. Studying about how you can get deep with God. As we learn today, today sorry, mm -hmm. wonders only happens in what? In the deep. Amen. So please, Wednesday, make sure you come and understand how you can go deeper. Thursday, we are on for our fire and prophetic, 9 p.m. as well. So if you showed up today and we couldn't locate you, forgive us for the technical issues. 
it can happen. You know, this technology is not promising to anybody. Amen. So please continue to pray for us as well. And please, I am reminding you of our project, five years project. From now to the next five years, we want to believe God to secure a building, to buy a building. Amen. Amen. And every lover of this ministry, if this ministry is helping you, amen, from far and near in the church, make sure you contribute every month, amen. Thank those that have given. You know there are some people that have given even for the entire one year. Yes. I know some people have given for one year, amen. So you can give. And please, if you have the strength to give more, don't limit yourself with $100. Amen. Give more to the glory of God, and God will also honor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the grace of God will be your portion. I pray that God will cause hunger in your heart, in your spirit, to desire to go deeper. I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever you are believing in God for, this moment, this time, this hour will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. This is what I want to do because of the, 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 the technology issue, mm -hmm. the technical issue, I mean. Right after we finish, I want to prophesy to 10 people. Mm. People of God, I say 10, 10. When the 10 is over, even if you will call from January to December, Nobody will pick up the phone. Amen? Amen. When the 10 people are over, I just stop it. I want to just, you know, apologize because it is very, very bad. Amen. Call this number right when we finish. It is WhatsApp number. Please know that if you are calling the number and nobody is picking up, it means somebody is already on. I'm prophesying to somebody. I cannot just cut it and, and pick your call. Continue to call. If the 10 is over, anytime God touch me, I'll do it again. And please, I am on TikTok live. Yesterday, I did live on TikTok. I tried my first TikTok live. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's about prophetic. You come on, you jump on, pa, 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 pa. You give somebody a chance. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yesterday I started. I don't know when I'm going to come back again. Mm. But please follow me on TikTok. Amen. Mm. TM underscore the acts. Amen. Mm. Follow me on TikTok so that when I come. And it's, I went on for five minutes. Mm -hmm. Within five minutes I have over 150 hey, people. <laughs> mm. I said this is how this thing works. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> Amen. So please, I'll be coming on. Amen. Amen. I don't know when, but I will share the message. And also, the number to call is 470-439-3910. 470-439-3910. If you are calling out of Canada, U.S., you just put one before the number. I repeat again, 1-470-439-3910. Please make sure you call right away. God bless you, love you, and there is nothing you can do about it, even if you try. God bless you all partners. If you want to be a partner, just write on that number and let me know in Jesus' name. Shalom. Bye-bye.